Ever wonder why you're always eager to get your hands on the latest Apple product? Could it be Apple's marketing magic at play? That's exactly what we're about to explore. Apple Inc., a company renowned worldwide for its innovative products, equally exhibits a masterful approach to marketing. It's not just about selling gadgets, it's about selling an experience, a lifestyle. And that, my friends, is the genius of Apple's marketing. Let's start with a simple question. How does Apple create such a buzz every time they release a new product? You might think, well, they make great products, so of course people want them. Yes, that's true, but it's not the whole story. Apple's marketing strategies are a blend of art and science designed to captivate consumers and keep them coming back for more. They've perfected the art of storytelling, creating a narrative that resonates with their audience. They've mastered the science of positioning, ensuring their products are perceived as premium and desirable. And then comes the emotional connection. Apple doesn't just sell products, they sell dreams. They sell the promise of being part of something bigger, a community of forward thinkers and innovators. This emotional bond is what keeps Apple customers loyal and eager for the next big release. But Apple's marketing isn't only about the big product launches, it's also about the subtle, everyday strategies that keep the brand in the forefront of consumers' minds. From the minimalist design of their ads to the iconic Apple logo, everything is meticulously crafted to create a consistent and memorable brand image. So, what can we learn from Apple's marketing genius? It's not just about having a great product, it's about creating a compelling narrative, building an emotional connection with your audience and maintaining a consistent brand image. And remember, Apple didn't become a global powerhouse overnight. It took years of strategic planning, innovative thinking, and a relentless focus on the customer experience. Get ready to take a deep dive into the world of Apple's marketing strategies. Apple's marketing strategy thrives on simplicity, but how does it make you buy more? This question might seem complex, Yet the answer is as straightforward as Apple's approach itself. Simplicity. It's the core of Apple's marketing strategy, and it's a big part of what makes their products so enticing. Let's take a look at their product designs. From the sleek lines of the MacBook to the elegant curves of the iPhone, Apple products are renowned for their minimalist aesthetic. This simplicity isn't just visually appealing, it's also functional. The clean, uncluttered design makes the devices easy to use, even for those who aren't tech-savvy. This combination of form and function is a potent draw for consumers. Moving on to their website, we find the same principle at play. It's clean, it's clear, and it's easy to navigate. There's no unnecessary clutter or confusion to distract from the main objective, showcasing their products and making it easy for you to buy them. And then, there's their advertising. Apple's ads are a masterclass in simplicity. They focus on one key feature or benefit of the product they're promoting. They don't bombard you with technical jargon or complex specifications. Instead, they show you what the product can do for you, in a way that's easy to understand and remember. This straightforward approach extends to their retail stores as well. Walk into an Apple store and you'll find products displayed openly for you to touch, use and experience firsthand. No barriers, no complications, just you and the product. In every aspect of their marketing, Apple leverages the power of simplicity to draw you in. They make it easy for you to understand what their products can do and why you need them. And once you're drawn in, it's hard to resist the urge to buy. So the next time you're admiring the latest iPhone or MacBook, remember the strategy behind their allure. It isn't just about the technology or the design, it's about the simplicity. Simplicity, my dear viewers, is Apple's secret ingredient. Scene script. Ever heard of the term Apple ecosystem? If not, then let us enlighten you. Imagine walking into a lush forest. Each tree, each plant, and each creature is interconnected, creating a harmonious environment where everything thrives together. That's the Apple ecosystem for you. But, instead of trees and animals, we're talking about gadgets and software. The Apple ecosystem is a sophisticated network of devices, software, and services, all intertwined in a way that encourages seamless interaction and a unified user experience. It's a world where your iPhone talks to your MacBook, your MacBook to your iPad, your iPad to your Apple Watch, and so on. It's a symphony of technology, where each device knows its part and plays it flawlessly. But here's the catch. The more you step into this forest, the harder it is to step out. Bought an iPhone? You might find yourself craving the seamless pairing of an Apple Watch. Got a MacBook? The allure of an iPad's portability might be too hard to resist. Suddenly, you're not just buying a product, you're buying into an ecosystem. And this is precisely what Apple wants. 
by creating an ecosystem where every product enhances the value of the other, Apple ensures that once a customer steps in, they're more likely to stay and explore. It's a clever marketing strategy that not only promotes customer loyalty, but also drives multiple product purchases. Moreover, it's not just about the devices. The Apple ecosystem extends to include services like iCloud, Apple Music, and Apple TV. These services further bind users into the ecosystem, enhancing the overall user experience and making it harder for them to switch to other brands. The Apple ecosystem is a testament to Apple's mastery in integrating hardware, software, and services. It's a perfect example of how a tech company can create a captivating and immersive user experience that goes beyond individual products. The Apple ecosystem is a clever web designed to keep you buying more. The launch of every new iPhone is an event in itself, but what's the marketing strategy behind it? Let's take a deep dive into the world of Apple's marketing genius, focusing on the launch of their flagship product, the iPhone. Every iPhone launch is more than just the unveiling of a new gadget. It's a spectacle, a global event, a celebration of innovation. But it's also a carefully choreographed marketing strategy designed to stir up anticipation, create buzz, and of course, drive sales. One way Apple achieves this is through secrecy and surprise. Remember the iPhone X unveiling in 2017? The world knew Apple was cooking up something big but no one knew exactly what. This air of mystery fuels speculation and conversation, keeping Apple in the headlines and the public on the edge of their seats. Next comes the art of storytelling. Apple excels at crafting a narrative around each iPhone. They don't just talk about features and specs, they paint a picture of how the iPhone can enhance your daily life. Take the iPhone 11's launch, for example, where Apple showcased how its advanced camera could transform everyday moments into extraordinary memories. Then there's the wow factor. Apple makes sure each iPhone launch is packed with mind-blowing moments that captivate audiences and dominate social media. Think back to the iPhone 4's Retina display reveal. It was a game-changer, a moment that made everyone sit up and take notice. Lastly, Apple masterfully uses the iPhone launches to strengthen its brand image. Each launch is a reaffirmation of Apple's commitment to innovation, design, and user experience. Whether it's the sleek design of the iPhone 12, or the groundbreaking M1 chip in the iPhone 13, Apple consistently uses these launches to remind us why they are a leader in the tech industry. So, there you have it. Through a mix of secrecy, storytelling, the wow factor, and brand reinforcement, Apple turns each iPhone launch into a marketing masterclass. But remember, with each iPhone launch, Apple isn't just selling a product, it's selling an experience. Apple's branding is iconic. But how does it influence your purchasing decision? Whether you're an avid tech junkie or a casual consumer, the power of Apple's branding is undeniable. It's more than just a sleek logo of a bitten Apple. It's a symbol that encapsulates innovation, quality, and an unparalleled user experience. When you think of Apple, what comes to mind? Is it the groundbreaking iPhone, the sleek MacBook, the convenient AirPods, or perhaps the innovative Apple Watch? Each of these products, while unique in its own right, carries the weight of the Apple brand, a brand that has repeatedly proven its commitment to delivering top-tier technology. Now let's delve deeper into the power of branding, specifically Apple's branding. What makes it so influential? Quite simply, it's about perception. Apple has cultivated a brand image that is synonymous with luxury, sophistication, and cutting-edge technology. This image, in turn, influences how we, as customers, perceive their products. We don't just see a phone or a laptop, we see a status symbol, a testament to our taste and sophistication. The Apple logo, a minimalist representation of an Apple with a bite taken out, is instantly recognizable around the world. It's not just a logo, it's a beacon that signals innovation and quality. When we see this logo, we don't just see a brand, we see a promise. A promise of a product that is designed to enhance our lives, simplify our tasks, and elevate our status. But it doesn't stop there. Apple's branding extends beyond the product and the logo. It's about creating an experience, an ecosystem that seamlessly integrates various devices, platforms, and services. This holistic approach to branding has fostered a sense of loyalty among Apple users, making them more likely to purchase additional Apple products. In conclusion, Apple's branding is not just about a logo, it's about creating a sense of belonging. It's about being part of a community that values innovation, quality, and sophistication. So the next time you find yourself drawn to an Apple product, remember, it's not just the product you're buying into, it's the brand, the promise, and the experience.
Remember the Think Different campaign? Let's dissect its impact. In the late 90s, Apple was on the brink of bankruptcy, and they needed a way to distinguish themselves from the sea of similar tech companies. That's when they launched the Think Different campaign, an ingenious marketing strategy that would not only save the company, but also redefine its brand identity. The campaign was a masterstroke, a perfect blend of simplicity and profundity. It wasn't about the product or its features, it was about an idea, a belief. It was about thinking differently, about challenging the status quo. In essence, it was a call to arms for the creative, the innovative, and the rule breakers. Apple's Think Different campaign wasn't just a slogan, it was a powerful statement that aligned perfectly with their branding. It encapsulated what Apple stood for, innovation, creativity, and individuality. This message resonated with consumers, helping Apple to cultivate a loyal fan base who identified with the brand's ethos. But the Think Different campaign did more than just align with Apple's branding, it also encouraged more purchases. How? By creating an emotional connection with the consumers. Apple wasn't selling a product, they were selling a lifestyle, an identity. Consumers weren't just buying a piece of technology, they were buying into a community of like-minded individuals of people who think different. This emotional appeal made the Apple products more than just a want, it made them a need. The Think Different campaign also played a crucial role in shaping Apple's product development strategy. It set the stage for Apple's commitment to innovation and design, which is evident in all their products, from the iMac to the iPhone. This focus on innovation and design further strengthened the consumer's connection with the brand, leading to more purchases. In conclusion, the Think Different campaign was a perfect example of how Apple's marketing strategies align with their branding and how it encourages more purchases. It was more than a campaign, it was a statement of Apple's identity. Think Different was more than a campaign, it was a statement of Apple's identity. Ever walked into an Apple store? It's a world in itself. But how does it encourage you to buy more? Let's talk about the Apple Store experience. The moment those glass doors slide open, you're not just entering a store. You're stepping into a meticulously crafted, carefully choreographed world. It's a world where technology doesn't feel cold or impersonal, but inviting and accessible. Every Apple Store is designed to be a physical extension of the brand itself, an embodiment of the clean, modern aesthetic that Apple is known for. The minimalistic design, the neatly organized displays, the wide open spaces, they all contribute to an atmosphere of simplicity and sophistication. But it's not just about the visual appeal, there's a deeper strategy at play here. When you walk into an Apple Store, you're encouraged to touch, to play, to explore. The products aren't locked away behind glass cases, they're out in the open, ready for you to engage with them. This tactile experience builds a connection, a sense of ownership. It's hard not to imagine that shiny new iPhone or sleek MacBook is part of your life when it's already in your hands. And then of course, there's the Genius Bar, it's not just a service center, it's a place where customers can get personalized help, advice and solutions. The Genius Bar adds a human touch to the high-tech environment, fostering relationships and trust with customers. Let's not forget the staff either. Apple Store employees aren't just salespeople, they're brand ambassadors. They're knowledgeable, friendly and passionate about the products. They're there to guide you, answer your questions and help you make the best choice for your needs. All these elements come together to create an immersive, interactive experience that goes beyond a simple transaction. It's a strategy that encourages exploration, fosters connection, and ultimately, makes you more likely to buy. The Apple Store is a physical manifestation of Apple's marketing genius. Apple's marketing strategies are a masterstroke in customer persuasion, but what can we learn from them? Well, for starters, Apple has demonstrated time and time again that marketing is not just about selling products, it's about creating a narrative. They've built an entire universe around their brand, and when you buy an Apple product, you're not just buying a piece of technology, you're buying into a lifestyle, an ethos, a way of seeing the world. Let's recap some of the key points we've discussed in this video. We've seen how Apple harnesses the power of simplicity, from their clean minimalist product designs to their straightforward ad campaigns, they've shown us that less truly can be more when it comes to capturing consumer attention. Then, we explored the Apple ecosystem, a seamless integration of devices, software and services that encourages customers to keep buying and using Apple products. It's an ingenious strategy that has not only increased sales, but also fostered a deep sense of loyalty among users. We've delved into the spectacle that is the iPhone launch, an event that transforms a product release into a cultural moment. 
Through this, Apple has managed to generate unprecedented levels of hype and anticipation for their new products. We've also touched on the power of branding and the impact of the Think Different campaign. Apple has consistently positioned itself as a brand for the creative, the innovative, the forward-thinking. They've built a brand identity that people aspire to be a part of. Lastly, we looked at the Apple Store experience, a retail strategy that emphasizes customer engagement and experiential shopping. These stores are not just places to buy Apple products, they're destinations in their own right, places where customers can explore, learn, and connect. So, what's the takeaway here? Apple's marketing strategies teach us the importance of storytelling, of creating an emotional connection with customers, and of offering them an experience, not just a product. Apple's marketing is not just about selling products, it's about selling a lifestyle, and that, viewers, is their true genius.